Hey, Rada, as promised, I wanted to give you this uh, spreadsheet tutorial on what the data entry would consist of. Uh, so anyway, uh, here you've got your spreadsheet, and I'm going to just resize this down a little bit so that you can see um, the various categories. It uh, seems a little bit bigger than it is, but uh, it really isn't all that big. There's about 10 categories that you need to enter in here. Um, as you can see, I'm switching over here to what's called data definitions. And these, uh, these uh, fields that you'll have to populate, uh, you can see right here that they tell you in the UPC code and the different uh, fields that there are what's required and what's optional. So you've got about 10 uh, fields in here that are absolutely required. Many of them are already given to you. Okay, so you only have to fill in the ones, like here you can see where it says, no, they're not going to give you a product description, okay, and no, they're not going to give you a category for Amazon, etc. And we're going to get to that in a moment. But anyway, what I wanted to show you was how to do just a simple, a, a real simple entry. And what I'm going to do in order to do that is I'm going to bring this, I'm going to resize this back up again so we can see it. And then I'm going to go over here to... <clears throat> this particular model number, which happens to be a Fender guitar. It is a uh, Telecaster, but how you're going to find these is you're going to find them via their model number, okay? And everything on this list that you're going to be doing is going to be Fender, okay? So you don't have to worry about going and searching and doing all this. It's all going to be given to you, okay? So I just wanted to be sure that you were aware of that. There's going to be very little uh, search work and all that. You're going to go right to the areas you need to go to. In any case, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this product number, okay? And then I'm going to pull up Google, all right? Or I'm actually going to pull up my search engine here. And I'm going to go to Fender, all right? And I'm going to go to the home site. And I'm going to show you how you would find this particular guitar, all right? We're going to go to the search here and I'm just going to enter that product number and then I'm going to hit search okay now you notice that product number ended with a 723 All right, but this is what's coming up and this what they will always come up this way because they're grouped that way alright so we we know that this is an American Deluxe Telecaster so I'm just going to go ahead and click on that I'm going to show you why one is a 723 and one is another color, another uh, number. Uh, you can see this is Cherry Stand Sunburst. This is uh, number 731. As we scroll down, we can come to the one we're looking for, which is 0723. And the only difference between this and this is the fact that it's a different color with a different pick guard that's associated with it. And I know you don't you don't need to know the, uh, that uh, terminology or anything. I just wanted to show you the real difference here is one is Olympic Pearl and one is Cherry Sunburst. And that's the reason why they have different nomenclatures. Everything else about these guitars is completely the same. So what you're going to do is, now that I've done that, I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to go to a required field. Remember, it said that the description, okay, had to be, um, uh, was, uh, uh, required but it wasn't going to be supplied to you and here I'm just going to delete this because I'm going to show you exactly how this is done alright and we go over here to description and then we're going to go back to the page alright you, you probably do, you're going to do this all basically in one shot here alright you can see I'm copying and pasting alright and then I come back over here to the page and I just simply copy and paste that in and that's pretty much it for all of these categories that are here all right. You're going to do the same thing with a uh, bullet point one. All right. You can see here this says compound radius fretboard, etc. That's all on that site in the unique features, uh, which I'll show you right now. You come back over here to specifications, and you'll see where it says uh, neck, uh, unique features, pickup switching. On this particular one, I just chose unique features, compound radius fretboard. Okay and I'm gonna go back over here and I'm just going to repaste that in there so that you can see how that's done very very simple and you can see it says the exact same thing you need to do that for bullet point one on this and you need to do it for bullet point five alright which would be right here okay so um, nothing really majorly complicated alright and then you get over here into your uh, map pricing all right, and your MSRP and all of that, and you generally will not have to put this in there. All right, it's desirable, but you generally won't have to put it in. Uh, your weight, length, width, and all of that is not necessary. Okay, but then we get over here into uh, 
uh, category Amazon one and this is required so what I'm going to show you is how you go to go to Amazon okay so let's just say we go to Amazon and we go to um, uh, and we want to shop by uh, categories okay and how I go about doing this is I just go okay so here's the first category music etc I'm going to go music uh, here then I'm going to go to musical instruments all right and now I've got musical instruments so I'm gonna to go to guitars alright and I know that I want this this is an electric guitar so I'm gonna go here to electric guitars alright and what's happening is is this is going to give me the um, I, I'm finding I'm figuring out exactly where this thing is alright so uh, what they want is they want here and you can see it it says guitars category 2 electric guitars right and then um, don't worry about cal category evolution because that's not necessary okay and so it goes all the way down to category 2 and it's just electric guitars boom and it's done now you do the same thing for categories in Google and with Google it's a little bit different because you'll go to the Google's directory which is right here okay so you here it's art arts and music okay and you can see right here it says arts then it says music right then we're gonna go here to instruments okay so we've got these three then we're gonna go over here to stringed and we've got those then we're gonna to go to guitar we've got that then we're gonna to go to electric guitar we've got that then we're gonna to go to fender and now we can come all the way down here and we will eventually find a uh, Stratocaster okay so um, or a Stratocaster or a Telecaster okay and I'm gonna just resize this right here so that we can actually get to it okay and I'm not seeing a telecaster here so all we would have is is we would have arts music instruments string guitar and we would copy this right here and we go boom okay and we come back over here to the um, to the uh, category and I've just put it in and that's basically about it and so now you've seen uh, and then you come over here to keywords and naturally you've got to do um, one set of keywords which is right here Fender Telecaster Guitar American and you've got to do um, your keywords uh, over here which would be uh, J base uh, and pretty much that's basically about it you don't have to worry about images because that's being done separately and like I said you've got between eight and ten categories that you need to do and um, uh, pretty simple and once you have the system down as far as finding this stuff and getting to the site and copying and pasting you can do a lot of these in an hour okay so uh, you should be able to do perhaps ten to uh, 15 per hour uh, 10 would take it would take you six minutes to do one and there's no way it's going to take you six minutes uh, you could you could do one probably in less than five okay so that's 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 a pretty good chunk of change that you'd be making on an hourly basis so let me know if this is something that you want to do and um, we'll take it from there okay give me a, give me a contact call whenever uh, whenever you get this and you figure it out I will talk to you soon Bye.